In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the change attribute behavior. So in the previous lesson, I had set up a couple of attributes, a score set to 100 and goal set to 300. In this lesson, we're going to use the score attribute and we're going to change it. So I'm going to set this to zero to start with. I'm going to use this actor one as a button and each time I click this button, the score is going to go up by one. In order to see that happen, we're going to need a display text attribute here on screen. And we've looked at that in a previous lesson. Let me add that here so you can actually see the score change. First thing I'm going to do is add display text and I need to go to the expression editor. And I'm going to choose the game level attribute score. Just double click it, it pops right in there. The green check mark accepts it. I'm going to change the color of that to white. Then I want to change its position to, I don't know, I'll try 200 pixels above the actor. I'm going to leave that to centered, that should be fine. Let's preview that quickly to make sure it's, that I move it too far above. There we go. 200 pixels was off the screen, 100 pixels is on the screen. So right now it's zero. And now you can see how things are going to come together in Game Salad. As I start to create more complex interactivity, I'm going to be combining rules and behaviors to make those things happen. So right now we have the display text behavior. That's pretty simple by itself, pretty straightforward, as you've seen. But now I'm going to add a rule to this actor as well. And I want to say every time I touch this actor, when touch is pressed, I want to increase the score by one point. And since the score is an attribute, I need to change that attribute to make it go up by one point. So I'm going to use a change attribute behavior. Here's our button for the attributes browser. I'm going to change the attribute game score and what I want to change that to now you're going to get to see a little, tiny bit more of a complex expression here than in the previous lesson I want to change game score to game score because I want it to increase its own value plus one and I type that in right off the keyboard plus sign and the number one so you can see now it is actually building a mathematical expression, like I mentioned, right here in the expression editor. And these can get much more complex. They don't have to be this simple. You can use all kinds of math in the expression editor, multiplication, division, all of that good stuff if you have expressions that need that. This one does not. So every time I click this actor now with my mouse or the pointer, the score should go up by one. Let's preview that. So I'm going to click it and it went up to one. Now every time I click, it goes up accordingly. Now it doesn't have to increase just by one. If you were making a game and your player picks up maybe a gold bar, maybe the score is supposed to go up by a hundred. So I'll make that a hundred. Every time I click it now, it increases by a hundred instead of one. Certainly doesn't have to increase. Let's give it a value, something higher. Let's give it a thousand. And I'll change our expression to reduce the score. Maybe, maybe I hit a trap and it takes 50 points away from my score because I hit a trap in the game. Now every time I click it, it loses 50 points. And I know in this lesson I keep talking about maybe your player hits a trap, maybe your player picks up gold coins or a gold bar, and you would set all that up in rules just like this. I just set up a simple rule for the sake of demo where all I have to do is click on this actor for it to lose these points. But in a game, you would set up a more complex rule that says when this actor 
touches another actor, say a gold coin, then it adds points, or if it hits spikes, maybe it subtracts points or life. And also notice, if I click here, it's not changing the score, because I have it set up to only change the score if I actually click on the actor, which is this rule right here. So that's it for change attribute. It's pretty straightforward. It does exactly what it says. It changes the attribute you add here to whatever values or equation you set up over here. I'll see you in the next lesson.